Okay, this game is called The Director's Disorder demo, so I'm gonna play it, see if I like it. It was nice of Nana to let me stay at her place for a few days, so I can have some time alone to think. I just need to wait for things to cool down, so I can go home again. Go inside the house. Got it. Oh, you can run already. Letter from Grandma. Right click <laughs> to look. How could I ever forget? That was the summer Mom was traveling for work, so I had to stay here. The key should be in the shed then. I hope you had a safe drive from California, honey. You remember when you broke your wrist while I stayed with all stayed with us all those years ago? I left the key there. P.S. Thanks for watching Ace for me. Love you. Okay. I guess I'll pick up the lighter. V. That's a weird button to equip my lighter. Nana must have locked the door when she left. Okay. I wonder if she left me a note somewhere. She did. Uh, get the spare house key from the shed. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this garden. Oh. What was that? I almost got bit by a snake. I'm assuming the shed's over here. What in the f- Who's throwing rocks at me? The house key. All right, time to go in. Aw, this doggy's just sitting in here by himself. Ace, hey buddy. Ah, uh, boy, is it good to see Can you? You pet the dog. I should probably look for that chore list she mentioned. Should be on the table, I think. Yep. Time to start doing chores. Can I pet the dog? No. Frick. Shut the door. Is this Nana? Wow. Beautiful. Wait, can you pet him? Ace is content. Radio. Off. That shit out of here, please. Wine. Poured. Let's get to work. Let's look at this. Cole, honey, make sure you finish everything on this list before you go to sleep. I know you must be tired after the drive, but you mustn't forget these chores. Ace needs to be fed. His food is on the counter in the kitchen, so all you need to do is put, in his bowl, put it in his bowl and set it on the floor. Bring some of the firewood from the shed to the fireplace inside the house. It's been getting really cold at night, and I don't want you to freeze, sweetie. Your mother's candles need to be lit. I'm sure it'd make her happy to see you caring for her even after all this time. But mostly important, eat. I left some of your favorite food on the table. You must be hungry, so eat up. Thanks, Nana. All right, I gotta feed Ace, light mom's memorial candle, bring some firewood inside, and eat the food. Oh, here's the bowl. Maybe I need to find the food first, yeah. That's how you do it. Wait a second. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's just telling me where to put it. Got it. Need to check on mom's memorial behind the house. I think the candles might need to be relit. Okay. Check on mom's memorial behind the house. Oh, so it was like a memorial. I thought it's a could be doubling as a graveyard, but that's just my horror game brain. This looks like a memorial. Here we go. I miss you every day, Mom. Bring some firewood inside. Alrighty. I'm assuming from the shed that we were just at. So our mom is dead. We're visiting our Nana's house. That's what I've got so far. Wait a second. Oh, here we go. Okay. What was that? Who's breaking into my car? Wait, I got a nice ass truck. Damn, what is this? Okay. I don't know why the alarm's going off, but. Hang keys up and go to bed. But I want to eat the food. Yum. Nah, this cooking can't be beat. I, it almost made me go to bed hungry. Are you kidding me? Hang the keys. Um, time to go to sleep. Oh God, <laughs> the dog scared me. Why is the window open? Yes, please. Close the door. This is a small bedroom. Best young performer. Who won that? Cole Westwood. This is me? I'm an actor in Starman. Wow. Okay, let's go to bed. Okay, what was that? There's something outside the window. Ace? Hello, dog? Please, not the dog. <coughs> Fuck. What is it, boy? 
What is it, boy? Is he stuck in the well? Sticky notes. A knife? A knife? Oh, shit. I've got a bad feeling about this. What about the notes, too? And the... What is that? Yeah, I don't like this. Let's go. <laughs> Shut the window. Shit, the duffel bag. I can't leave that out in the rain. Oh, uh, what? The duffel bag? I thought I... Why wouldn't I bring that in in the beginning? When all this... Before all this weird shit's happening. Oh, man. Drawing. What is this? Didn't I leave it here? Weird. Weird. Guess I'll check the shed next. So go check the shed. So, now I have to go look for my duffel bag in the shed. I'll just take this to the bedroom for now. Okay. Good idea. This is my bag. What does he want it so bad for? I should take a nice, long, hot bath before the rain is the death of me. True. Uh, time to take a nice, hot bath. What is all this stuff? I'm just kind of exploring right now because I don't really know what this house is, what's going on, why I'm here. I need to take a bath. The candle's lit. Let's run some hot water, shall we? You left the door open, now your dog's on? Oh no. Ace, fuck. Let's let the door open. You called it. <laughs> you, you called it. Um, actually, Pocky, could you try not to spoil the uh, the plot of the game for me? Ace, please. Where did my dog go? Come here, boy. Didn't I leave it here? Uh, I... Weird. Guess I'll check the shed next. He's back here. He's back here. Dit, you got me worried. Don't go running off like that. Come on, buddy. Let's go back. I got... Why is the candle blown out? And there's... Okay, I'll relight that. Find Ace. Come on, Ace. Let's go in. Go to bed. Finally, after all this time. I'm just ignoring everything that's been happening to me, like yelling in my ear and stuff. He's already ready for bed. Make sure to look at my awards again, because I am a genius. Time to go to bed. 12.07 a.m. Yo, if you're watching this video on YouTube right now, I just want to take a second to say thank you. I have like 200 some subscribers right now, and it's nuts, so thanks. Let's get back to the game. What the f- Find Ace, what the hell? A uh, package. Oh, thank you. Uh, and the window- Ace, you left the window open again, boy. Place the package on the table. Wind's picking up. Yeah, better get this door shut. Bins to the shed. What? Why are all the windows left open? The dog is opening the windows? Move grandma's wash bins to the shed. What are wash bins? Something out here? It's a water bucket. What does it matter? Are you okay? Blink twice if you can hear me. Okay. Is there... Where's the other ones? Are they all around? Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta run around and look. It's a collection process. Please don't scare me again. Can't handle it. I know it's gonna happen, so I'm not even gonna be scared. Watch this. See? Nothing happened. They, see, they do that. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I really like the way the game looks, though. It feels nice. The weather and shit, it feels really good. Investigate the package. You got it. I keep thinking- they, I'm so paranoid, I keep thinking I'm seeing things, like jumping around. Huh. Huh. Was this open before? What the hell? Was this open before? 
What is this? Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello, Cole. How's the drive here? I hope it wasn't too uncomfortable for you. It has been a few years since you visited your old family home, hasn't it? Uh, who is this? Over. Who is this? The director of your next film, Cole. I've got a role for you to fill, and I know you're hankering for some work. I'm not desperate enough to work with someone pulling some shady shit like this. If you want to work together, drop the Psycho Stalker Act and contact my agent. Goodbye. Oof. I wouldn't be so fast to turn me down, Cole. Hear me out at least. Okay. I can't select anything other than no. <laughs> no. Now leave me the hell alone, or I'm gonna call the police. Time to go to bed. Yeah, leave me the hell alone or I'm gonna call the police. Hey, buddy. Time to go to bed, okay? Light the candle. Remember how good I am at acting? Wow, I'm so gorgeous and beautiful. Good night. 1.02 a.m. Mace? Uh-oh. Not good. Um... Ace? Please don't take my dog. I will be so mad if this... If they kill a dog. Wait. Oh, fuck. Keys. What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the holder? What the fuck? This is like the first game I've heard the guy say, what the fuck? And it doesn't sound unnatural. Ace? Come here, boy. Contact the director. What the hell did you do with my dog? Now, now, don't get saucy. Little Ace <gasps> isn't dead yet. Bastard. Where is he? I'll do whatever you say. Exactly. This man has never seen John Wick. Of what do you need me to do? That's more like it, Cole. You're going to help me gather footage for a film. Something that'll really blow the socks off our viewers. Uh-oh. How about we start off with something simple to ease into it, huh? For this scene, I'd like for you to go behind your house and pick up the present I left for you. With it, you're going to vandalize your mother's favorite tree. Ooh, I know the relationship with that's your mother rough. wasn't the greatest while she was alive, so why not take this chance to blow off some steam and show off your true feelings? Fine. Damn, I just agreed to it that easy. Well, I mean, if the, if he had my dog, I'd do it, you know? Fine. Just don't hurt Ace, please. Please do not I hurt the know. damn dog. Vandalize mom's tree. <sighs> I'll do anything for my dog. I'll ride for my dog. Like Waka Flocka said. I'm kicking the tree. I'm kicking the tree. I'm punching the tree. I'm kicking the tree. I'm smacking the tree. How do I vandalize it? Oh, here's the... Uh-oh. Time to pick up the spray paint. Pick up the trash bag. Vandalize? Yep. So sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. Haha. -ha. Sorry. <laughs> Skull. <laughs> Skull emoji. Ghost for Pac Man. Damn, this guy's got true talent. Skill. Holy. Sorry, mom. Oh, this is the worst part, though. The trashing the memorial. The trash underneath. Oof. All right, I did what you said, director. Now give me my dog back. It's done. Now give me back my dog. Whoa, whoa, don't be so hasty. I haven't gathered nearly enough footage for the film yet. You bastard. I still have work to do. This guy, man. This guy. I've had it about up to here. And you can't even see that high. I've had it up to here with this that fella. That wasn't the deal. Now where's Ace? Quiet. If you don't shut up, <laughs> do as you're told. The dog is 
dog will die, no. and you will join it soon after. What's next? That's the spirit. Now, I want you to grab that duffel bag you brought home with you. I know it's in the duffel bag, Cole. All the money you stole from your charity. Oof. And you thought to bring it here with you? Not smart, Cole. Not smart at all. He was a crypto scammer. He got them to buy into a shit coin and to call it a charity, and then he rugged them. Now he's rich. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? It's not like I could take it to the bank. Cole, listen, I'm not here to question your life choices. That's for your fans and the police. What you're going to do is get rid of the evidence. Burn every last dollar in That's that That's easy. Bag. I don't give a shit about money. Okay. Sayonara, sucker. All that work. Down the f I burned it all. I don't know how this is going to help me, though. Give me it the dog. Nimrod, but it does make for good footage. You'll be viewed as this compassionate, regretful man seeking to make amends for his past crimes. Probably. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not people. <laughs> it's better not end up with me in a prison cell. True. <laughs> All right, Cole. Next scene. Don't make me. Do you remember when it's going to just get worse, I think. Movie? Your stunt double had an accident on set because you were too hungover to act. Now, I would have liked to have had you recreate that accident, but we don't have time or resources for it. So instead, I'm going to have you take a knife and cut off your own finger. Simple enough, right? What? Yeah, I, I knew it was going to get worse. What? No! That actually was his fault, not mine. He was supposed to be a fucking professional. True. Blah, blah, blah. I'm Cole Westwood. I'm too hungover to do my job. You want to see your dog again, Cole? Do the scene. If not, well then who's to say what'll happen next? Don't kill the dog. Well, I have to. I would chop off my finger to save my dog. But did you notice on this blade it said USMC on it? That's pretty decent detail. Alright, time to chop my finger off. Fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, that would hurt. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, gosh! It's done, you fuck! Psychopath! Holy Sell it to me. <laughs> Holy shit, Cole, you crazy motherfucker, you good shit! That is going to be a killer movie when we're done. Ooh, it's going to be a worse for the both of us. Fat stacks of cash in my head. Oh, I can't wait. We've only got two scenes left now. Two. Two scenes. Two? It's gonna be, next it's gonna be chop off your balls or something. What did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? I just want my dog, man. Ugh. I left you a present in the back of your truck. Bring it in and set it up, would you? Okay. <sighs> do you want this time? I didn't even bandage my finger or anything. Did you, I, I gotta put it in the fire real quick. Psst. All right, I seared my finger shut. Another package, huh? Wonderful. I'm sure this one will be great. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm not doing... I'm not doing that. I'm not putting anything anywhere. There. It's all ready. Good. Now, here's the fun part. You're going to sit in front of that camera and confess all of the horrible things you've oh, done. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going to have me, uh, you know, do some strange for some change. I haven't done anything wrong, damn it. Shut up, sit down, confess, or be punished. Okay. I'm not hearing any confessing. What am I confess to? What did I do? I guess I'm about to find out. Fine. Fuck. Begin confessing. I want to find out what I did, too. <laughs> confess your sin. Uh, let's see. I hadn't visited my mom in years. Before she died, I mean, she kept inviting me up for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but there's always something else. I wonder why she didn't just come and visit me. I mean, why should I have to be the one who has to drive six and a half hours upstate just to see her? 
I had more important things to do. Things that were actually worth my time. She should have tried harder, not me. Okay, so is she sick or something? It looks like she was sick from the picture on the right. So that's... <laughs> Stole money from my charity. Tens of thousands of dollars. Damn. The money was supposed to go to those kids, and I just took it from them. You bastard. Modern day YouTuber. But I needed it more. I did. The bank was going to repossess my cars. I, I couldn't let that happen. Acting doesn't pay what it used to. This guy doesn't sound very... <laughs> this guy doesn't sound very sorry. I mean, he's just confessing. He doesn't have to be sorry for it, but he's just confessing. And yeah, I cheated on her. My wife. Ever since our son was born, she's just been horrible. Inside and out. Always needing things and bitching about this or that. Yeah, this is making me not like the main character a little bit more. It's making... It, it, he seems like a dick. So when her sister came on to me, huh, could you blame me? I was just trading him for the younger model. Damn! That's all. She'll get over it. She always does. <laughs> what? Now that's some tea right there. And the f***ing dog is, is in the cage for it. Like, put my character in the cage and let me be the dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I happened to be drunk on set that day. So what? Is it my fault that dumbass had to take my place for the stunt? My fault he didn't stand on the right fucking spot and lost his arm? Yeah, probably. He should have been more careful. Some professional he was. He didn't deserve that payout the company gave him for his troubles either. Hell, if anything, it should have gone to me for making us waste a day of filming. <laughs> oh, shit. This is not going to make you look good. There. Done. Happy now? You're not done yet. Cool. What did you think this was? What? That's it. All of my confessions. There's nothing else to say. Don't lie to me, Cole. Wait, I there's more. No, I know what happened on that road. Had a few too many drinks, did you? Thought even with all those martinis, Oof. I could still drive. And you a really thought you'd be fine. And a murderer. Huh. You couldn't. That's impossible. There was no one else there. Confess, Cole. Let me take those weights off your shoulders. This guy is a bad guy that I'm playing. It makes me not like my character. Holy. Confess your fifth sin. I... I killed a man. That's it. Keep going. Well... I was on my way home from a party. I'd been drinking all night. And he just, he came out of nowhere. I stopped and checked on him, but he, he wasn't breathing. So I, I got back in my car and I left. I wasn't laughing at the scenario. I was laughing at Red Pole saying, put the vine boom in there. <laughs> I imagine, <laughs> I imagine the vine boom playing when he said that. <laughs> Damn it. And I was laughing in this screen. I didn't want to leave him, I swear, I, but I couldn't help him. He was in pieces, scattered across the f***ing road. So I went home, and, and the next day, I called my Nana. This and was I yesterday? I stay at her place for a while. And so you came here to hide it's from like the two days ago. to hide from everything you've done. You're a coward, Cole. Through it. So I just killed that dude, and I came here to hide out with all of my charity yoinkings. Oh no. What if I become? Shut up. Shut up. It said I could confess more. As much as I've enjoyed our time together today, Cole, all good things must come to an end. Please, no. This is it, question <gasps> mark? I'm out of here. So this is it? After all this, I'll finally be free? You'll let me go? Of course! Simply finish the last scene, and I'll be out of your hair for good. I promise. Okay. I believe you, totally. I totally believe you. Alright. Let's get this over with. Always with the rush, Cole. Slow down. Smell the roses, eh? What roses? Just tell me what it is you want, so I can be done with you and with all of this. Last scene is a simple, easy one. Burn down your grass. 
<laughs> what? I mean, I'm already a big piece of shit, so why not add to the list, right? <laughs> Holy shit. What? Come on, Cole, don't play dumb. I know you heard me. You're going to burn down your Nana's house, burn it to the ground, and walk away from the life you knew. Why? She doesn't deserve to be homeless. Leave her out of this. Cole, Cole, Cole. You lied. Cheated. Stolen. And even killed your way through life. And you thought it wouldn't come back to bite you? True. What makes you so special? But that was me. Not her. Punish me. Nah, you're going to get what's coming to you one way or another. But I don't think that's enough. This bad energy you've got going on, it's got to go somewhere, you know? <laughs> Burn it down, Cole. Haven't you walked away from enough? Oh, no. Well, it's time to burn it all to the ground. What if it's Nana? It could be. What if it's her? She found out. Somebody tipped her off. Burn down. Burn house down with firewood. Time to burn the house down. <laughs> Here we go. It's burning. It's all burning down. What have I done? <gasps> Ace. Yes. At least you're okay, buddy. Aww. Come on. Let's go home. At least the dog's fine. Time for me to atone for everything I've done. Cole Westwood returned to his California home and turned himself into the police. After a short, vi uh, short trial with the full confession from the defendant, Cole was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his crimes. His victims were able to peace in the knowledge that justice had been served. Cole himself came to terms with the crimes he had committed and devoted his life to making the world a better place after he was released from prison. Soon after, a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at the Westwood family's cabin began circulating the internet. Eventually, any and all who knew of the film came to call it the Director's Disorder Pilot Episode. Not bad. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. And I know there's probably going to be, there was different uh, outcomes based on like different choices, it seemed like. So that's something that could be cool. Like everybody has a consequence. They're paying their price or whatever, but you could choose to be a dick with some people and not do it. I think it's cool. That was the director's disorder. See ya.